This is a lesson on rotations. We've learned translations and we've learned reflections. Now we're going to learn rotations, which sound easy, but they get a little more complex. Just like the reflections get a little more complex than you might expect. So, um, first of all, let's, let's sort of relate reflection, or not reflections, rotations, to um, real life. And so we've got a bike wheel here, and a bike wheel rotates, okay? And, and it, it rotates about the center of the wheel. That's how you say how an object is rotating, is you use the word about to say that it's rotating on that part. So it rotates about the center of the wheel, okay? Um, a rotation happens when a shape turns about a point. So you have to have a point, and then it has to turn on that point. Um, it is rotated from one position to another. Another name for a rotation is a turn. So we have uh, a flip, which is a reflection, and now we have a turn, which is a rotation. So flip, turn. Okay, and then um, the other one was a slide, the translation. Um, <clears throat> after one complete turn, a shape is back to where it started. So if I... Um, well, yeah, let's just pretend that the middle of me is a rotation. So, so once I turn all the way around, I've done one complete turn. And I turned about uh, my head, I guess, or my feet. Um, okay, so we're going to go down to the bottom here. And we're looking at describing rotations. So it says, shapes can do a quarter turn. So if I'm turning like I was, I'm going to do a quarter turn. I just did a quarter turn. Um, they can do a half turn. So if I start here, and then I can do a half turn. But I'm going to put these down by going, there's a quarter, and there's a half. We well, could do a three quarter turn. So starting again here, quarter, half, three quarters of a turn. And then the last one is a full turn, so I would just go around again like I showed you before. Okay, I've got visuals of this and you'll notice that I did it in quarters because that's the way that it's going to make sense to you to draw a shape once it's turned. Okay, so just so you remember, um, a quarter turn is one right angle. This will this will help you, just it might be confusing now, but just trust me. Uh, two right angles is a half a turn, three right angles is a three quarter turn, and then four right angles is a full turn. Um, but that one's just easier to remember that it's the same position as it was. Okay, um, so you can describe rotations based on their, uh, how they turn. And then you also describe rotations based on which way they turn. So you can either turn clockwise or you can turn counterclockwise. And if you forget which way clockwise is, just think of the way that a clock goes. That's why I put a clock here. Okay, clocks go this way. So sometimes it's, it's best if you trace your finger along uh, where the clock is and think, okay, so this direction is clockwise because a clock goes this way. Counterclockwise is the opposite. It goes the opposite direction. Okay, and then we've got a picture to remind you that if time's moving backwards, it's going counterclockwise. So using that information that I just shared, um, you need to describe rotations using these three things. So you need to tell the direction of the turn. So you have to say if it's counterclockwise or clockwise. You have to say the fraction of the turn. So if it's one quarter, one half, three quarters, or one whole. And then you have to tell the point of rotation. Now the point of rotation is like uh, about the center of the wheel, uh, about Miss Bashford's feet. Okay. Um, it's usually going to just be a letter on a corner or a vertex of a shape. Okay, so a shape and its rotation image have different orientations. Remember the translation had the same orientation. Um, the reflection had the opposite orientations. And now we would just say it has different orientations because it depends on the rotation for what the orientation is. It's just different. Okay, um, and then the shape and its image uh, face different ways for any rotation that is less than one complete turn. So unless it's a whole turn like that, then it's going to be a different orientation. Otherwise, if it goes a whole turn, it's the same orientation. So let's look at this example. 
Um, well, you're going to do this with me, so grab a pencil and follow along. Um, I'll show you how to rotate a shape. So um, it says rotate the following shapes about vertex B using the rotation given. So there's vertex B and that's on the corner. Um, and then down here tells us how to do it. So it says one quarter or one half turn counterclockwise. So clocks go this way. So that means that we need to turn it the other way. So we're going this way. Okay, so what you do first is you pick um, a, a side of the shape that is connected to the vertex and you uh, start to count out quarter turns. So if I was to turn this a quarter of a turn, I would go like this and there, and then I would draw this right here and there's my right angle. Okay, so that's what that quarter turn was talking about, but this is a half a turn, not a quarter turn. So we need to make it go like this. Okay, and then what we're doing is we're taking this shape and then we're turning it like this. So it's going to be up like this. So we have to draw it the same shape the same size and we put this arrow in to show how it has moved. Okay, so this is a rotation and it, we can see that it's gone counterclockwise and that it was a half turn. Next up, we've got this one and this one um, wants a three-quarter turn clockwise. So that means we're turning it this way. Okay, so again, we pick a line um, that is attached to this vertex, and it's actually pretty tricky to do it like this. So I'm just going to create my own imaginary line down the center of this shape, just for ease. Stay, stay with me here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I need to turn it clockwise. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to do three quarter turns to make three quarters. Okay, so I'm going to start here, and I'm going clockwise, so there's one. There's two, and there's three. So my new center, and it goes one, two, three, four, okay? My new center of this shape is going to be right here. Okay, from here, it goes out to the end of this square and out to the end of this square. So I need to draw here, and I need to draw here, and it's actually going to overlap, and it goes for two, two uh, diagonal squares. So I'm gonna draw two diagonal squares, and then it goes in to this way. One, two, and meets in the middle. One, two, and meets in the middle. And I could get rid of this line once I'm finished. I might even make my arrow proper and say, there we go. There's my three quarter turn clockwise. Okay, so it's not that difficult as long as you follow what I just showed you. So uh, down here, there are a couple of examples. So please pause the video and try those rotations and then play again once you're finished to see if you got the right answer. All right, so this one here, we're doing vertex B uh, again. Um, and it says, we're going to do a quarter turn clockwise about vertex B. So I wrote it properly here, just so that you could see how you would actually write it. So we're going to go clockwise, so that means we're going this way. And we are going about the B here. Now I like lines that are on the actual grid, so I'm going to pick this line instead of this line to do my turns. And it's a quarter turn. So that means that I'm drawing from here to there. And then I'm drawing this line again. So it's turning. So that means I draw one, two, lines up this way. Then I do a 90 or a right angle here and go three squares this way. So I went up, now I have to go three squares and then I connect them. So there's my quarter turn clockwise about vertex B. Make sure that yours looks like this because it's important that you get the examples right so that when you do your assignment, you get that right. Okay, the last one, um, a half turn counterclockwise about, about vertex B. So counterclockwise is going not that way. It's going this way. Backwards from a clock. And we're going from here. So we pick a line. Um, I'll pick this one. We can either pick that one right there 
or that one. Um, what is it, a half turn? Uh, no, actually, I'm going to pick this one right here. I think this one will be easier. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to go, so there's a quarter turn, and there's a half turn. <coughs> Wait, I didn't, I pretended that this was a vertex. That's what I need to make sure that I'm doing. <laughs> it helps me to make sure that I pick the right vertex. So I'm, I'm spinning around and I'm uh, doing counterclockwise. Oh, that's why I did that. Okay, we're going like this. And then, here we go. So we're going a half turn <laughs> like this. So if you imagine now this thing is going to be flipped, right? Because I've got this. Um, then I should have it like this, and like this, and this, and this, and like this. Okay, let's just pretend, let's make sure. Yeah, that's right. Okay, sometimes you have to, you need a visual or a tracing paper or something, you can cut it out just to make sure. But this is the rotation that you should have got. If you did, make sure you put it down on the paper. Okay, so you've got a textbook assignment to do and uh, have fun.